Well, good morning, family and friends. Actually, my family, because you're all my family, you know that. So, lots of hugs to you. Lots of hearts to you. I love you all. Yeah, I make my day. And some of them will F up my day, okay? Um, I stop looking at my notifications in the morning because uh, I refuse to let someone ruin my morning, okay? Let me tell you guys. Now, before we get into that, um, I wanted to give you a, uh, in case you didn't know, okay? I'll put on your comments below how many of y'all use Amazon shopping, okay? How many of y'all use the Amazon? Isn't this a beautiful scenery? <laughs> I wonder where I'm at. <laughs> anyway, um, how many of y'all use Amazon to order, okay? Um, your stuff, okay? Whatever it may be. I do Amazon shopping because I find sale on cans of, of long-term food, um, can of beans because you can't find them in the store. And if you do, they're a dollar uh, twenty-nine a can of beans. And you know, I gotta have my ajona bichuela because I'm I'm New Yorkian, all right. Um, so I gotta have my rice and beans. I know that. I gotta have my cafe bustelo. And, I, and if I can't find Botello, I'll go for Folgers, I'll go for any kind of coffee, just as long as I have my coffee, okay? So anyway, um, put in your comments below, how many of y'all use Amazon for shopping, okay? Um, you do find some good deals, okay? On disinfectants, like Lysol spray, um, uh, canned can stuff, okay? Uh, I just received like four boxes of um, chicken breast. I got three boxes of the Vienna sausages and um, a tuna fish, okay? I don't know the difference between albacore and tuna and this and but I, tuna is tuna for me, so. And my daughter loves tuna. So I got a little bit of all of them. So I got up, uh, I always get up early anyway. I'm an early bird. Um, I have to uh, tell TJ and um, Lake Ferry, um, I apologize. I lost, I, I put the notification on the reminder and I missed the live, uh, I think it was yesterday, because uh, I've been up late for the past few nights and yesterday I was drained. I was drained to where when I got up, uh, I was dizzy, okay? I was dizzy, like I was going. I was like, ooh. You know, I haven't slept. So what I did was I, I, I showered really quick and I was just, and I went right back into uh, my cup, my little corner. And um, I took uh, like a four hour uh, good rest. <laughs> and then I got up freshly new. So watch some TV, um, find me a good movie, you know, just to distract a little bit. You know, you, you gotta do that, you gotta, um, I do other things in between, okay, to distract your mind from things, and um, and uh, then you just on continue with your day. So anyway, you know, I already have my cafe, but I got to have my Pepsi too. Mm. So back to what I was saying about Amazon. Uh, this is tips. I give tips. You know my channel. I speak about everything. And we're gonna get down to some real heavy stuff in a while, okay? Yeah. Um, not to ya, okay? Not to my loved ones, which all of you are my loved ones. But um, I, because I appreciate you from the heart, okay? I appreciate you from the heart. And um, there's just some people that um, they just pop up all of a sudden. But we'll get to that. Anyway. Uh, if you have, if you do shopping on Amazon, let me tell you something, okay? This is, this is really, really uh, informative that I'm giving you. I'm giving you a tool that you will say, whoa, I, maybe, I, maybe you know about it. Maybe you don't know about it. But if you don't know about it, I'm going to run it to you right now. So here it goes. One, two, three. If you shop on Amazon, download, okay, from your Play Store or your Marketplace or whatever you may have on your phone. Um, the app, okay, listen to me closely, Amazon Shopper Panel, got it? 
Amazon shopper panel. All right. Once you get that done, it'll link to your account. Okay. Automatically, you're gonna. It's, it's all. You don't have to do nothing else but just download the app. So let's wait for the train to get by. So once you do that, guys. If you shop outdoors, okay, because, you know, we always go to the stores, we go to the Dollar Trees, we go to the Dollar Generals, we go to uh, whatever, whatever, okay, wherever you shop at, whatever supermarket you may have, because some supermarkets in the West and the South um, are not up here. Some that are up here, um, they're not in other areas, in other uh, states, so whatever doesn't matter if you gas okay if you gas get your receipt if you pay a toll going from point a to point b whatever get the receipt okay don't just um well now it's like pay by plate up here is pay by plate or you can go to the receipt because then you're going to get tickets and letters and letters and letters in the mail and then you don't know if you repaid over and over and over so i have that problem when i travel <laughs> i don't have the easy pass because um, it seems like it wasn't me going anywhere that day and I was getting tickets. So I deleted um, the easy pass and I'd rather pay by my plate, okay? But then again, keep track of the tickets you get in the mail because sometimes they are multiplied, okay? Uh, it happened to me when I came from Florida. Um, a couple of tolls, um, there is no pay by plate there is a uh, a, 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 a cashier like a cash and there's no one there either so you're still gonna pay the same whatever it is okay but stay tuned to that so always carry cash and I didn't have cash on me at one point and um, I, I you know they just took my plate and then the two dollar fifty cent came in the mail but then I had another two dollar fifty cent come in the mail so be careful when you travel anyway you shop okay you shop you save the receipt okay you don't have to do it the same day you just find a little place a little box or something like that a shoe box or something like that okay or a bag or a ziploc bag or whatever it may be somewhere in your drawer and you know um, glove compartment uh, somewhere in your vehicle if you're a van lifer or at home somewhere safe that you know and don't forget within those 30 days okay within those 30 days you go into your Amazon shopper app you open it up you're gonna see a little camera okay you're gonna open up that camera you're gonna place your receipt somewhere okay nice and flat and you're gonna screenshot that receipt it's gonna you're gonna see a logo loading you know and then you're gonna see some points okay or money I forgot what the heck it was I use it so much I don't even pay attention to it but let me tell you something it pays off okay and just keep screenshotting 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 um, when you come to look at the what do you have available you might have $50, okay, to shop with Amazon. So when you want to shop for something, this is what happens. When you go on your Amazon shopper, the Amazon shoppers, okay, because even though you go out, sometimes we do get on Amazon. Uh, if I can't find something, I'll go on Amazon. So, or something that I really want. It's going to cost me more money out here. I can get it, you know, through Amazon. So... What happens is that when you order something from Amazon, um, when you check out, okay, when you proceed to check out, okay, you know what I'm talking about? It's going to say, do you want to use your, your, um, your points, okay? So you already know you got $50 in there, okay? Let's say, nah, I'm saving my $50 because I want to get this down the line and it costs more, okay? So I don't have to pay for it, so it'll be kind of free. Or you want to use it, okay? So when you proceed to check out, the first thing they're going to take is the $50, okay? Or $40 or $100, whatever you accumulate. You can, you can just scan, 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 
okay and then when you buy it's free actually it's, it's it's free you get it for free so i take advantage of that so i've been scanning for the longest since i found out about it okay uh, about a year ago and um and four months ago when i went to florida uh everyone out there uses amazon shopper panel i don't know nothing about that but you know what that's why i like going into your channels I like listening to the people that I'm subscribed to. Um, they give very informative information. I didn't get this from from uh, YouTube, okay? From yeah, I got it from other sources when I traveled, okay? And there are more sources that I'll give you down the line. But right now, um, you know, Amazon is a big company. It's joining with Walmart, okay? All this BS about what's going on with Walmart. Oh, yeah. listen, you're always gonna have your Walmart super. Uh, market okay the, the where they have the food market where they actually have the fruit vegetables and freezer meats um, you're gonna have them in your town okay maybe a few not all but you will have access to get to it it's not gonna be uh, something out of this world but a lot of them yes are closing because many people are going to the major one that has the fruits the vegetables and you can get everything there why go to one that doesn't only has frozen food and you can't even get an orange okay so um that's what's happening with the walmarts okay so this bs that you see around you know yeah they need to cut that shit out so i found out okay so guys when you shop save your receipts um in a safe place you know it's there now once you scan it um, discard it okay or you can share the receipts with another person that you know that shops on Amazon okay you give the receipts to them all right a uh, family member or friend um, anyone that you you know that you want to and uh, might need it and you know they use it or whatever i normally give it to the lady down the street because she has kids and she shops on amazon for um diapers and baby wipes and all of that stuff and you get good deals on on the baby wipes because uh walmart is kind of uh uh can't find them <laughs> the ones with the deals so anyway uh i use it for diy and I also use it for um, hygiene issues, okay? Always for many years, okay? Um, I, 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 I raise my kids um, to use baby wipes. When they, once, they, once they knew how to wipe themselves and, then, um, and even that they're grown, they'll use the bathroom. And trust me, uh, these kids are awesome. They, um, they stay clean, okay? They stay clean. They be clean. So don't forget. Pass it on to someone you know. Pass it on to someone that you might like to, um, to give. And um, tell them to download the app also. Scan the receipt, okay? Make sure you put it in a flat place. Get the camera. Okay, and scan it and this thing will start rolling around rolling around you know reading the receipt and then uh, it doesn't matter what you spend uh, it could be two dollars it's gonna give you um, points in money it, it says points but actually it, it converts into money so you will see when you go back into your um, into your account on Amazon account if you want to check it it'll say you have fifty seven dollars off of the uh, shopper panel or whatever whatnot but if you don't want to go through all that it will tell you when you start shopping for stuff um you, you you could just press buy now even if you go back and you know don't not gonna purchase make the purchase but you will see on the top that it says do you want to use your your credit which is 50 75 100 dollars or 150 200 i'm telling you, you can go as high as you want but it's on a, a monthly basis that you have to scan um, and I don't mean go crazy out there shopping okay just to get it uh, because you have to scan on a monthly basis it doesn't matter if you go to the store 10 times a month or five times a month 
you're still going to get about 10 to 11 to 12 dollars okay so that adds up and that's how i add up my stuff because my daughter goes shopping uh you know for her things i do um and uh she scans it i scan it and I, you wouldn't believe the stuff that i've gotten okay and um and actually i'm going to show you what i got and i've been waiting for it and i just have to um mess around with it and and um learn how to use it because it's for you okay it's it's it's, it's for you actually it's for my use but it's my use for you okay because i'm tired of using my phone i lost my pictures guys i did some videos and i lost my pictures and um uh i want to thank god that i i bought a um a higher uh sd card of one terabyte it was like 35 dollars i got it on sale on amazon and i i only really paid uh five dollars for it because i didn't want to use all of my points and i had enough points but i wanted it for something else so i'm going to show you what i got what i received yesterday okay so you got that you got that okay i'm sharing you good info i have y'all know what this is right this is for a girl gopro camera i have one actually i had two i gave one to my son my oldest veteran okay and um he uses it for his channel on his uh, rc uh racing car events okay i gotta i gotta write his stuff down his uh, link down so y'all can check up on him also okay and um, he has awesome videos and um what i did was it, you know, I, I I just can't get it to focus where I want it to focus. I don't know where the where the darn thing is uh, uh, uh facing. Okay, so it, it, you know it's kind of hard for me it, it, the the other one, and it's also Wi-Fi. So from here, you Wi-Fi it to your phone, and you can upload. The, you could do the videos on your phone and upload it, but it's still gonna take your, the photos are gonna be saved on your phone. The video will be saved on your phone when you edit. And though I do have a laptop, but my laptop is sacred. <laughs> but I'm going to see what I could do because as long as I have an SD card and put everything into that SD card, which I did get already, been had it, um, it will not affect my laptop, okay? Because nothing will go into my laptop. It will go into an external hard drive. Whenever I want to upload a video, I'll have it in my external laptop and not on my original hard drive in the laptop. Understand? You get where I'm going. Okay. So this is a case of a um, GoPro, but there's one difference. Okay. This is a big difference. This is if you're going to go underwater, uh, stuff like that. Um, that's all it is. Uh, you know the buttons and everything else. Okay. There's nothing there to be uh, messing around with. So what I did was, I got, you ready for this? I got the XTU, okay? It's heavy, it's heavy. I got the XTU S3, okay? Look at it. Probably can't see it good. Daylight, the sunshine, okay? But it has a front camera, it has the lens, it has a front screen. Got that? Y'all getting that? Look at that. It's got a front. There it is. It's got a front screen. It's got the lens. Okay. And then if I turn it around, it has the back screen. So I could do my selfies. I could do uh, better videos because I can see now where I am shooting. And I love it because it's convenient. Battery lasts forever. It has like uh, 2,000 something megahertz of battery. So that you're talking about some six hours or so. It also has the um, tripod, uh, all the accessories. It also has an accessory for a selfie stick. And uh, I think this was more convenient for me, okay? It has an external mic. It has a mic, okay? Yes, yes. It, the other ones, they have this little dot, okay?
okay? You have to scream at it because I did try it when I was when I used to ride my motorcycle, I used to have it hooked up to my bike when I was in Daytona Beach at the bike fest, okay? Because that's one event that I would never miss. I'd be I'd be hitching out my, my motorcycle. I miss it though. And I don't know when it'll be when I'll probably have another one. But uh I would love to. But anyway, it is what it is. So this one has a nice, a nice, um, you know, the sun, the, the, the sun is not in my favor today. But anyway, you can see that big square right there. This is a beautiful, nice sound mic, okay? I already tested it beautifully. Videos are beautifully. It's also a touch screen, okay? You can touch screen it or you can use a remote. So I haven't dealt with the remote yet. I was just setting up my camera, but I put the SD card in there, one terabyte, and um, what happened was that I have to put the SD card into my laptop to format it. So until you format a card, it will not work in any device, okay? Just so you know that. Here's another good surprise, an external mic. It comes with an external mic, and I'm not going to mess with it right now but it goes in here. This is where you charge your phone, I mean your camera, okay? And then you put the external mic and you have better um, uh, audio, okay? So guys, yeah, I'm working, okay? I'm working, all right? So I, um, I am getting there slowly, like I said. We didn't all, uh, we're born uh, walking, okay, and talking. We were born um, the twisting and turning, okay, figuring stuff out, okay, babies figure stuff out, uh, babies start to crawl, then they start to walk and stumble around, okay, until they get it right. So, um, that's going to be my next topic there. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy, okay? Maybe I'll do another video. I'll do another video on that because it's going to be long. And um, not long, but I want to get my point across because I am so fed up. Okay, with some folks um, that they don't have nothing to do, okay? Uh, they don't even have a channel. Uh, I don't know if they're trolls or what the hell they are, okay? But I'm fed up with Chavi. I know who you are. I can imagine, okay? Because all they do is come and complain about some whine about, they whine about the stupidest shit, okay? Give people a break, all right? If you ain't doing a damn thing of videos and stuff like that, what the hell are you doing complaining on my channel? You know, over something stupid. It doesn't even make sense. So, I have a few of those, okay? I have a few of those. And um, I don't know if you have them. Check up on that. I, I saw a video yesterday from um, uh, Prepper Nurse One, okay? Prepper Nurse One. He is in uh, Rochester, New York, up there, one of them towns, okay? Um, and he has a beautiful homestead. I like to watch him because he... He uh, does uh, a lot of gardening and, and uh, vegetable plants and all kinds of uh, edible, you know, stuff and homesteading and um, uh, solar and uh, how do you uh, 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 store water. I mean, everything from A to Z to survive any, any kind of event, okay? Um, so it's good to know, okay? It, it's good to know. So check out Prepper Nurse One. Um, he's very good. And he'll give you some details as you know, okay? But right now, I'm as mad as the uh, the angry prepper, okay? And, you know, I'm from Brooklyn, and he's from out there in New York, too. He's from the Bronx, okay? So that makes it all the same. Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, okay? We got that. We got that, uh, 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 don't give a F uh, when it comes to letting your mouth go. Uh, I could be, I could, I could do that, too. But, you know, I left that years ago. I left that years ago. That's why my ass is in New Jersey, Okay, because my I used to get in fights. I got scars all over the place. I ain't even told you my story. I got scars all over the place from fighting. I mean, you 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 do something to my kid when they were small, I'd be out there just throwing down. Guys, you want a good laugh? Remember, I'll never forget. Some days I'll never forget because those were the days. <laughs> and you ain't gotta worry about no damn cops either. Okay, now you can't you can't beat somebody behind because uh, you gonna get locked up. But uh, back in the days, okay, talk about the 80s, um, 
You know, they had them tin garbage cans outside. <laughs> you know, that was a weapon. You grab one of them tops from them garbage cans, okay, and if you don't dump the person inside the can because it has garbage in it, you gonna you gonna knock the heck out of them with that with that with that uh, tin top from them tin garbage cans. Then if y'all uh, off here from New York back back then, um, and maybe now they might still have them. I don't know. Uh, they started uh, chaining the the tops and the garbage cans. <laughs> okay, so the landlords or the super or whatever on garbage days, he would have to uh, take the chain out and put the garbage cans out. God forbid. Okay, you put them garbage cans out early and uh, hell broke loose later on. Okay, that garbage, it would just empty that garbage can. I'm gonna have your ass in there. Okay, so yeah, I have a lot of scars you, you wouldn't even know. Okay, I have, I have a little hole over here. Mm. I'll show you later if I see it, but I got a scar here. Man, I got scars on my knees. Oh, yeah, I got my ass whooped, but I whooped some ass too. So, <laughs> those. <laughs> And you ain't got to worry about no cops. As soon as somebody holler, cop is coming, I would start running, and the other person would start running too. There wasn't no staying there to, to, to tell on each other and, and all this crap. Uh-uh. Just get this shit done, and we keep moving. And I'll catch you another day, and we'll be the best of friends again, all right? So, listen, don't underestimate, because uh, I'm quiet. Yes, I changed a lot. I had to, I had to, or, or I don't know where the hell I've been. I, I don't think I'll be sitting here. I'll probably be locked up. I never got locked up. Um, I don't have no records, okay? I'm clean. Um, just a bunch of aches and pains. That's, that's, that's what life uh, gave me, aches and pains and sufferings. And, uh, but you know what? I get through anything. God is good to me, and I, uh, that's why I always pray. I pray for me, I pray for my kids, I pray for everybody, I pray for y'all too, okay? But um, some people need Jesus. I ain't lying. Some people um, that uh, subscribe to me or I subscribe to them, they need Jesus. There's only, there's only a few, there's only one or two, one or two. I ain't talking about a whole bunch, there's, there's one or two. But I'll get my point across later. But anyway, right now, I have another surprise to let, to tell you, okay? Um, let me tell you something. When I, um, I don't know, God leads me into um, clicking, okay? Because out of so many videos that you see, um, you know, you, you, you go to van lifers and, and, and you start scrolling through just anything, just anything and everything, you know? You know, you know how you scroll and just and something just pop up. A lot of things don't call my attention, but something, you know, every once in a blue moon, it'll call my attention. And I ran into, um, well, before I, I tell you that, before I give out the name, okay, I want you to check that person out too. They're very good-hearted. Um, it, it touched my 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 inner my inner um, my inner goodness, okay. Um, just like my inner goodness has touched other people, and I've sent them gifts from the heart. Uh, Y'all know who you are. I don't brag when I do stuff. That's one thing that I was not raised to do. If I do something, you do it from the heart. If you have to tell. Uh, Dick, Tom, and Harry, don't do it, okay? Because then you, you're, you're not even giving it from the heart. You're just giving it to let it be known, okay? So I don't mention names, okay? If they do, I appreciate it. Um, it's good, you know, if the person that receives the gifts, okay, mentions um, or, 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 you know, it's, it's something that they can use. Um, I see because my heart tells me, you know what, I would like them to have this, you know? I think they would love this and they would love that. It's not like I have a million bucks in the bank. It, do, it doesn't mean I have thousands in the bank, okay? I pay my bills just like anybody do. I struggle like everybody else does, okay? And, uh, you know, my channel's not monetized, nothing like that. And um, I just do it for fun. If I ever get monetized, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be more blessed. And then I can um, share more with, uh, you know, there's so much I would want to do. But um, you can only do what you can do, okay? But... God always provides, okay? I mean, you gotta help yourself, okay? Um, I've heard stuff of people saying um, things like that, like when you say God will provide, oh my God, they throw you into the gutter. They throw you into the gutter and you just wanna get through that phone and just rip their head off, okay? Um, yeah, God will provide, but you have to provide for yourself too. 
okay? And um, you will see blessings. Okay? If you have a good heart, you will see the blessings come to you. You will see something like, wow, well, you know? It'll make you think, well, wait a minute, I did this and I did that. And uh, uh, not because you were thinking of doing it, not because you were doing it for a purpose, not because you don't do things for blessings. Remember that one. You don't do things for blessings. Blessings comes to you, okay? If they want to be given to you, it'll be given to you. But you don't do things for blessings. You do things from the heart. You do things because you want to do them. You do things because it just hits you. that, um, And you see kindness and goodness and struggling. And not even struggling. It's just that it just, to me, I have that blessing. Um, it, it just hits me. Okay? Not everybody will touch my heart, okay? No, no not everybody. But I, there's some people that will. And I'm going to mention one in a minute, okay? I want you to check out that channel because, uh, like I am, starting from scratch, but I am not to the point to do what that person is ready to do soon. And I, I feel, okay, I feel... Um, it's a sacrifice. We all have to sacrifice, okay? Which one way or another. Um, it's easier for a man than it is for women sometimes if you have uh, kids that you don't want to uh, uh, leave behind because of the way the world is right now. If the world wasn't um, the way it is right now, listen, I would be making different choices. Okay, I'll be making different choices, all right? Uh, I'll, 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 you know, I don't even want to say because I know um, a few of um, I don't want them to, you know, think differently. But um, not you, but, you know, the persons in my life. Um, I cannot, I cannot um, just leave uh, a loved one behind and just keep going. Um, because I have my doctors okay i do suffer from arthritis y'all know that i do suffer from anxiety is is it'll get bad sometimes but sometimes i'm good it all depends on what the damn day and what the heck is happening <laughs> or what might happen that you don't even expect you know you know when you like don't expect stuff you know shit happens so it, it makes you nervous it makes you jittery um so yeah i try to you know to just stay neutral I don't think about it. And, and I'm grateful for y'all because y'all helped me through it too. Keep me busy. <laughs> so anyway, guys. Um, this is my new camera, okay? This is what I'll be using. And um, and we'll see how it goes. I have to set my laptop. And uh, I'll be working on that during this week, okay? Just so you know. Oh, that's not even all of it. Uh, it comes with a, uh, you know, for the external mic. Uh, I mean, not the external mic, for the uh, built-in mic, okay? If you're using the external mic, then you will cover, um, it won't even cover it, but as a um, protector from wind and stuff like that. So that, that's awesome. This is awesome. And it, it, it didn't cost me a, a hell of a lot of money because I had my, my uh, money accumulated into my Amazon shopper panel. So guys, that's um, something for you to know. All right, so let's put this here, put it to the side. You know, when you have all these electronics laying around, it's like you go crazy. It's like, where do I start? So I was too tired to read the instructions because I was, I was falling asleep. I was dizzy. You know how that'll hit you when you don't sleep? And sometimes anxiety will kick in and it'll make a damn shit worse. So yeah, <laughs> I guess it was something. Hmm. I want y'all guys to check out um Oh Lord have mercy. Here I go again. Brain fog again. Uh East Coast East Coast uh East Coast Van Life. His name is Anthony. Okay. Check out East Coast Van Life. Um, and his name is Anthony. 
okay? I uh, ran into him, or he might have subscribed to my channel. I don't know. I've been following him for a while, okay? And I want to thank all you new subscribers, too, okay? I really thank you. Because you know what? It makes me feel good. When somebody subscribes to my channel and I see somebody new, it moves me. It moves me, okay? It makes my day. It makes me happy that I can share with other people. And I also subscribe to them. Some you subscribe to, but they won't subscribe to you. But it's all all right. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. But I subscribe. Once they subscribe to me, I will subscribe to you also. And, um, you know, I will uh, share. You know, it's about sharing, guys. Um, us van lifer um, and, um, and not van lifing, okay? It could be something um, uh, prepping. It could be um, good ideas like I give you. And I get good ideas from other people, too. It's good. It's good. So it's, it's good to to be a variety of um of different things because you learn different things if it wasn't for for young i'll tell you one thing i would just have maybe 50 dollars of groceries in my in my home okay that's all i would have had it's nippy out here it's chilly so um yeah that's the honest truth so um uh if it wasn't for y'all guys um i I tell you, shit, what's this, the fan? Um, I don't know what I would do, okay? Uh, so I'm glad that something led me, because I know a damn thing about YouTube, like I said. I, I didn't have time for that. I used to work so much that I, my phone was for calling. And let me tell you something. Um, I don't know if it, it happened to you, too, or you went through that, too. Um, I wasn't born or raised as a child, okay, like a young kid that could use a phone, um, I didn't have the opportunity, I don't even remember if I had a doll when I was growing up, I had a, I had a fucked up, um, um, childhood, guys, okay, y'all wouldn't even, y'all wouldn't even know, all right, so, a lot of things that people come up there and, and just, just, um, uh, just throw some shit up in there, you don't know me really okay and not because not 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 just me let's put me to the side you don't know what goes through people's mind you don't know what they're going through you don't know what their daily basis is you might be comfortable um you might have a pro master where you could stand up and shower inside and uh, well, blessings to you because you know you were able to do it you're able to do it but not all of us have it like that so you gotta have a little bit of heart and conscience before you comment stuff on your page on you know on the person's page um you don't know what they're going to don't criticize don't knock down anything listen enjoy the video okay it's something that they did and took time it's something that they took time to to give you a little bit of something it could be a two minute video all right um, it doesn't matter. Um, enjoy it, okay? Uh, encourage them, okay? Um, have fun, okay? Uh, don't be a troll. Don't be a troll. You don't know what goes on people's mind. This is why this world is upside down. This is why um, some people keep to themselves. This is why people shut down. This is why... Um, a lot of violence and crime and, and, and stuff like that is going on because people don't have the love that they need. They don't have somebody to encourage them. They don't have somebody to, um, uh, you know, check up on them. Um, they feel like, you know, they're in the bottom of this world. No, we're not. We can pick ourselves up. But you always need somebody to help you get up, okay? Sometimes we need that help. Um, and many, many need that help, okay? Um, look at New York, okay? That people are just grabbing refrigerators from stores and, and walking out with it, okay? A lot of stores in New York are closing because of the robbery, the crime, uh, the situation, okay? It might be your next door neighbor. Uh, get to know your people around. Um, help, okay? Help. Stick together. 
um, we don't, listen, if they cut us all, we're all going to bleed the same color. I don't care if you're black, white, green, yellow. I don't care what nationality you are, okay? I'm not, I don't, I have love for everyone. I have love, I have, I have friends um, and, and neighbors from all kinds of countries, okay? And we get to know each other a little bit about, you know, their culture and their traditions and whatever. Hell, I learned about turmeric with uh, the Indians out there in um, the Muslims or uh, 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 what do you call it, Islamic or whatever they, they are out there in um, in Queens, okay? I used to go a lot to Queens because my brother, older brother used to live there. And um, and they uh, the um, that area is... Um, is where they you know their community and uh it's a mix it's a mix but that's where they do their ramadan and all of that stuff and i used to enjoy it oh i i i was sad when my brother left out of there he used to live in a high-rise condo with a big porch and, and me and his wife would drink um uh, uh zinfandel fruit exotic fruit wine we, uh, if we wanted a taste for beer we would because i do have my beer every now and then but i don't like to drink alone so I, I stuff here just just stays there, okay. Not that I have stash. And I might have two bottles of Hennessy. I might have three bottles of wine. Um, yeah, I got my Patron a little bit, um, that, that, and um, it's not like I sip on it, okay, or beer. No, I don't have any beer. But um, when I hook up with her up there in that uh, ninth floor, and um, you can see the whole avenue. Okay, and you see them partying and they got those nice dresses, you know. Um, listen, you know, we have to learn how to live um, in uh, different aspects of our life, okay. A lot of people need to change, okay. This hatred and this um, white and black issue and all of that stuff, listen, this, I hope this shit stops one day. But um, if we get together and cooperate, um, listen, like I said, I don't know what you're what you're thinking at this moment right now yeah yeah i don't know what might be on your mind will cross your mind you can say i'm crazy i don't care um i can get crazy all right uh but no um i'm just t telling it like it is okay real talk real talk guys um get to know your neighbors get to know people all right you don't know what's up here a lot of people have small kids they can't even get a hold of a gallon of milk okay and um, and you could be out here uh, complaining and talking, you know, crap. Listen, don't. That's that's not that's not right. Come on, somebody tell me down there that that that's not right, okay? Because if that's not right, you need Jesus or, or whatever God you pray to. I, I think you you you. I listen. Let me just leave it there. But um, get to know, get to know. And if you can't help somebody, if you cannot encourage somebody, if you cannot lend a helping hand because you see someone, uh, let's say your next door neighbor struggling with something, um, if you can't uh, have a heart to think, okay, um, you got a jelly bean missing up here, okay? Yeah. Um, because, let me tell you an example. My neighbor's on the corner here. Um, they're kind of very, you know, kept to themselves, all right? And, um, but they're nice people, okay? It's a black family, okay? Yeah, I don't, black family, what? 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 They're my neighbors. I love my neighbors. Portuguese right here, okay? Jamaicans upstairs, okay? Uh, Puerto Rican old 70-something-year-old lady up there, okay? Um, across the street, I got Dominicans, okay? Uh, you barely see anybody up around here. But um, they do what they got to do, and, and they, they, they go and they come back. They barbecue, okay? They'll, if I'm out here, and, hey, you want to hear some chicken, hear some this, hear some that, you know? Yeah. The people upstairs, I don't even come, uh, they come downstairs, they do the little barbecue. They do have, uh, there's three grills, okay? There's three grills. Anybody can do. Do you think I hear them in the bedroom? No. They do their things all quietly, okay? We help each other. Okay, there's a vegetation plant back here. Oh yeah, and we share. If I go shopping and I find tons of meat that is cheap, I think about them, okay? Because I know that they struggle, okay? I know that they're struggling. And um, I, I go up there and um, 
I'll put the bag, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure they're home. And I'll make a phone call. Honey, I, I, I you know, I left uh, some stuff by the door in the box, okay? I found a sale, so don't worry about it. Don't ask me no question. Just take it and shut up, okay? And that's what I do. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the, why you got to, well, you don't have to do this. Oh, that's so nice. I know they're very, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me, okay? So, guys, you know, um, when, you, when you're out there on the street, um, look around. Let me tell you something. Go somewhere where there's a lot of people walking up and down, okay? Go to an avenue. Go to an avenue and just stand on the corner, all right? Just stand on the corner. That's all you got to do. And uh, look around. Look around, and as you see people passing by, uh, if you can, if you know the language or whatever, listen to what they're saying. Okay, listen. I've done that. Listen to what they're saying. A little bit of their little conversation that you might hear on the food. Okay. Um, look around. Okay. Uh, uh, focus on some people that might be maybe sitting down. Uh, people that might be standing on a corner just like you. Or somebody just waiting for the bus stop um, at the bus stop uh, look around look around and analyze analyze okay analyze them you don't have no stare at them just analyze them okay and you might see them sitting there at the bus stop like with a bag or something or their pocketbook or something all nationalities I ain't talking about any specific one. You don't know what the heck is up here. You don't know what they're going through. Okay? And somebody might go out there and attack them or something like that. You don't know. Um, that's how you get to know, you know, you have a little bit of heart. Have a little bit of heart, man. I, it breaks my heart to see a lot of things that I see. And you know what? I've been in situations that I've seen things. And I'll walk right up there, okay? I'll leave my New Jersey quiet side to the side, and the Brooklyn just comes the heck out of me, and I'll be right up in their face, you know? What the, what's the wrong with you? You know? I don't care. I don't care. I will let it know, and if it's wrong, it's wrong. If I see something, you know? Um, abusive. Don't let me see abusing an old person. Um, I will cross an old person, and my kids will do the same thing too, okay? Um, help them. Give them a hand, all right? Uh, when I was in Queens, I was on a, on at my brother's porch. Here's this old, like a ninety old lady with a, with a shopping cart. She was just pushing her cart up Hillside Avenue. Yeah, I know in New York, you know Hillside Avenue in Queens. Well, let me tell you something. That's a four lane avenue, okay? And I we was on the on the ninth floor, and I could see down. And uh, we just sitting there, but you could see. And. Uh, I saw this lady pushing that cart, and it broke my heart. It hit me right here. And I said, um, Johnny, I'll be right back. Where are you going? You gonna get some more um, uh, beer? No, 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 I'll be right back. Right, you want beer? I'll bring it right. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me run. I ran out the door, got on that elevator. That elevator was so damn slow. I went down the steps. I looked out, the elevator was open. I popped in, I got down, went around down to the, uh, like, a, uh, I would say about 25 feet to the avenue. Um, you gotta go around to the building and out, outdoors. And I caught up with the lady. Okay, the light was there. She was started to cross. And the New York drivers don't give a hoot. So I went over there. I said, Excuse me. My name is Ada. Okay, let me help you cross the street, this avenue. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. My daughter was about to dance. I couldn't understand what the hell she was saying. But I didn't care what she was saying. My heart. Uh, broke to see an elderly lady and where the hell is her family members okay talking about a daughter where the hell is the daughter okay how do you forget about your elders how do you how do you just leave your elders um I don't know I don't know guys I just don't know but I was happy okay I was um I felt good I and in a way I felt bad 
because I don't know where her, you know, where she was going. And I offered to walk her home, okay? I offered her to walk her home, but she got a little scared, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, I would be too. So, I at least I crossed her over. Um, I gave her, I bought her some water. Yes, I did. I said, do you have water to drink? And she's like, no, I have no I, but I only live about two blocks up the street and down there. I said, okay, well, hold, hold right here. Stay right here. And, you know, there's lots of stores there. There's no problem getting a bottle of water. I ran in. I said, don't go nowhere. I went inside. I got her a couple of bottles of water, a couple of those Minute Maids, and put it in a bag and um, gave it to her. I put it in her cart. I, I told her, you can open a bottle of water. If you have a problem opening, I will do it for you. So this was like four years ago. And um, she was so happy. She was so happy. And um, she told me that she takes the bus to I don't know where also. Like you take a bus. Oh yeah, but, uh, they know me. Yeah, the driver and they helped me. And you know, it, it just, oh man. You know, let me tell you something. I, I have a good heart. I, I'm from New York. I was born in Brooklyn, raised in Brooklyn, okay? I came out to New Jersey because my aunt, she came to my house one day. And she said, and I used to live on the third floor. And I was a bad man, my jam out in New York, okay? And um, she used to live out here. I, I didn't even know New Jersey. I, I wasn't interested in where uh, other states were, okay? That's, that's, I was so stuck in New York that all I see was New York was my shit. So, um, let me tell you, she went to my house when I least expected. She's my aunt, she's my godmother. She was the one who practically kind of raised me here and there. Um, she was the one who looked out for me. She was the only person who went to my uh, 12th grade graduation in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, because, you know, um, uh, my parents used to travel all, all move fr from town to town like every freaking month. We was moving from state to state. I lived in Chicago. I lived in Ohio. I lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I lived in New York. I lived in, where the hell did I live? I lived in Pennsylvania, Lakewood, New Jersey. I, don't even, I didn't even Lakewood, New Jersey until I got here to New Jersey and just started roaming around when I did have a chance to get a vehicle. And then I said, wow. And then memories came back, you know? She was like, shh, it's all right. But you know what? When you grow up in a, in a effed up situation, okay, um, and you suffer so much as a child, and you're alive by God's grace, okay? Because it's a long story. Um, but anyway, God bless all the hearts. Um, I don't hold grudges or nothing like that. But I had a hard not knock effing childhood okay growing up and um it's not easy it's not easy so maybe maybe that's why the way i am i don't know i didn't have i i i i don't want i get what i need my necessities that's that's all i get so remember when we had um beepers <laughs> and you had to find a public phone to call or something like that uh, remember when we had the track phones um, remember uh, we had um, yeah back in the 80s and 80s and 90s yeah 80s and early 90s uh, end of the 80s and early 90s track phones beepers um, who the hell had YouTube I don't even know laptop existed I don't remember well yeah they did exist because um, I did work for the hospital many, many, many years, and um, until the uh, retirement package was offered, but um, and I got the hell out. Uh, and I don't regret one minute of it, but I, I miss my veterans. I used to work for veterans um, nursing home, and I miss them. Oh my God! It just I think about them all the time. I lost a lot during this pandemic, and coworkers too that I work with. And, you know, that's that's it's hard. It's hard. And friends, and neighbors, neighbors, family, yes, yes, not on this area, but the next block, yeah, and, and the other block, and the, oh, my goodness, my neighbor. So, um, and I know a lot of people that work in the local hospital, okay, it's very sad, it's very sad, I had it, I had that shit, okay, um, it almost took me.
okay. Uh, yeah. I'm here by grace of God. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times. I am a blessed woman. God has, I mean, God has blessed me for a reason. And maybe it's because I am the way I am. I, I am the way I am and nobody will change me. And it's not like I'm like that every day. It's just something once in a blue that um, kicks in. But I do um, stay aware if anyone needs something. I mean, I could be walking down the street and somebody will ask me, you know, you guys spit some spare change? I'm not going to, in my mindset, I'm not going to say, oh, you're probably just going to take it for drugs. Or, you know, you know what? If I have change, I'll give them $2, okay? And if I got some change, I'll keep the quarters, though, because I need it for the meters. I'll give the change, and if I have some single money or whatever, or $5, if I ask them if, I'm, if they're hungry, I'll go out. Over here, when you go downtown, there's always um, a food place. I will say, hold up right there. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. I got something for you. I'll go buy, okay, a burger, some fries, some Chinese. A sandwich and something to drink. And I'll bless them. You know, God bless you. And I'll give them the $2. I don't care if they shoot themselves or sniff this shit or smoke this shit or I don't know what the hell is out there. Um... I don't care, okay, that's, that's, that's their, per, that's their per, uh, prerogative, okay, yeah, so at least I didn't turn anyone down, okay, because I know what it is to be turned down, okay, I know what it is, so um, not from, you know, begging in the street, but when you really need and people just turn you down, when you apply for something and you get turned down, you know, you know what I'm getting to, okay, so, um, some people will probably, oh, oh my gosh, you know, get the fuck out, away from me, you know. No, man, you don't know. You don't know. I mean, you saw that person today, and um, a few days later you passed by. You know, them people be known. There ain't too many out here, but there are, you know, there are a few here and there. Um, and the next thing you know, you know, they, 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 they're, they're not here with us anymore. And then you start thinking, oh, damn, you know, it's sad. Let's not say that they got themselves in that predicament, okay? Let's not say that either. Um, you got another jelly bean up in your head. Now you, got, now you ain't got one jelly bean missing, you got two. Um, don't say, oh, well, they got themselves in that predicament. That's their problem. That's it. Yeah. No. Listen. Um, why don't you find a phone number um, and give it to them? Okay, next time you see them, give them the phone number. Listen, call here. You know, it's a shelter. You can get help. You can get a meal. You don't have to sleep out here in the cold. Because um, I've seen them in pure winter out there. Yeah. Sleeping on benches and stuff. Like, that's sad. That's sad. They have a family. But for some reason, they probably got abandoned. They probably lost their mind. Let me see something. There's veterans out there that lose their damn mind. And they be homeless. And it's not because they look for it. It's because the past wars have drove them crazy. Because it does give them um, a lot of mental issues. They see a lot of stuff, okay? I know. I have two veterans, okay? But I can't tell the stories. Mm, the stories they told me, I take that I take that to the grave, okay? I'm not going to tell y'all. But the only thing I can say is they go through a lot. They go through a lot. And they come out here and they got to get adjusted to the world. And that's when they say they got to get back to civilian, civilian life. You wonder why. When you see them... Um, they're not the same person they left, okay? Keep that in mind. When you see a veteran, thank a veteran. That's why your ass is here. Anyway, R, all R. But guys, let me just cut it short right now. I appreciate all of y'all. And um, everybody stay safe. Do what you can do, okay? Continue on with your, you know, with your life, your lifestyle, whichever it is, in a home, an apartment, in the van lifing, uh, RVing, in the woods, 
the bushcrafting. I'm loving the bushcrafting stuff. <laughs> and homesteading. You learn a lot. You learn a lot. Canning. Oh, I ain't got the canning. <laughs> but um, I'm afraid to can. I don't know if I might try to put something that I too much or too little and, and, and wind up poisoning myself later after I start cooking something. <laughs> So anyway, my canning is canned stuff already. <laughs> and that's probably worse than the regular canning. Oh my God. So anyway, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try one day. Uh, but you can't find no jars. You talk about these jars, uh, canning jars, and there ain't none. Because I've looked. I've looked. And when I go out there, I look. I can't find no canning jars out here. I don't know what to do with them. I know they ain't canning. City people don't can. Okay. So... Yeah, guys, I'm going to leave you with that and um, with that thought. And um, you know what? Um, we got to help each other. And that's why in my other videos I said we have to stick together. Okay? We have to stick together. Don't be selfish, okay? Because when you're selfish, um, you're going to wind up with nothing, okay? I'll tell you that. I've seen a lot. I know. I know a lot of selfish people. Oh, jeez. It's like, I don't know what dealing with the devil is, but I guess it's somewhere close, okay? Some, it's somewhere, it's got to be somewhere. It's evilness. It's just evilness in their heart and their mind and their soul. I don't know. I just can't understand it. But I keep my mouth shut. I keep my mouth shut. What am I going to do? I can't change nobody. If that's your way, that's your way. I can't change nobody. I ain't here to change nobody because I don't want nobody changing me. But I'll tell you one thing. Ain't nobody going to change me. So, guys, lots of hugs to you. I appreciate all of y'all. I hope you get this message. I hope you really think about it. Okay. This is one of the videos I think most touching. Okay. If you find it touching, because I feel it touching. I feel it touching me. I hope it touches every single one of y'all. Reflect, okay? Sit back. Sit back today for a for a second, for, for 30 seconds, okay? Take 30 seconds, a minute of, of your time today. And um, reflect on what I just said. Okay? That we have to stick together. We cannot be selfish. Selfish should never exist. Racism should never exist, okay? We are, we are all um, children of God, okay? Um, I don't care how bad a person's doing, how good a person's doing, and struggling whichever way. Um, think about it. Okay, reflect on what I just said today, and well, you know what I get my point across. I hope I, you know, touch someone out there to to um, uh, let's say um, re, you know re react react to reality. Okay, this is reality. We live in the, in the today. We can't live yesterday and we don't know about tomorrow, right? Um, some things are more sadder than others in this time of, of uh, times that we're going through. I hope, you know, this thing will be over soon. Um, there is uh, chaos going around, um, but there's nothing we could do, okay? We just have to continue on for the best, okay? Make it the best. Do what you can. Uh, it's all about surviving now, okay? It's all about surviving, so think about it. But you know what? You also have beautiful people surrounding around you that are in the same boat, okay? They might not say it. Um, might not talk about it. You don't have to ask either. Because you'll be sending you nowhere. But um, 
enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, share with everybody, and don't forget, if I was to, if, if, if we all cut ourselves, our blood is all red, okay? So, remember that, remember that, okay? Everybody is beautiful to me, everybody. So, I'll leave you with that, guys. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. Um, I bought a gift for, uh, because you know what, it just touched me. Uh, somebody's really sacrificing out there right now. Needs support, okay? Uh, yeah, we gotta, gotta support this other, okay? I want you to check out Anthony, I already said it. Anthony, East Coast, okay? East Coast, uh, family of Van, Van, um, uh, F-O, F-O, hold up, hold up, give me one second, let me think. FOA. FOA. No, F O Y T. Family of YouTube. <laughs> we are his family from you of YouTube. So yeah, check out East Coast um, Anthony. And um, Anthony's not too far from me, okay? Anthony is not too far from me, and. Um, I had ordered something that um, I thought it was going to be helpful. You know what? It, it, it takes my energies out because maybe because I'm a woman, um, and uh, it's nice. It's, it has all the hookup. It has all the hookup and some more compared to this little thing here. And I want him to have it. Okay? Something told me, you know what? I, I want him to have it. He's not too far. Okay? I think he's in Baltimore, uh, yeah, and I'm in New Jersey, so Baltimore is just I-95, maybe about, maybe an hour, okay, so he's getting into the van life now, check him out, check him out, van life, check him out, check him out, subscribe to his channel, okay, I always recommend other people, just like other people recommended you to me, and I appreciate all of y'all, oh yeah, and, um, I do it from the heart, okay, I, um, so I, wa I want him to have this, and I'm going to show it to you because uh, I, I told him, I sent him a message, okay, I got something for him. So either we could meet halfway um, and share our vans, okay, he could do a video on my van, um, we'll check out his van, his uh, SUV, okay, he got an SUV, he's soaking it up and, and um, he's leaving his apartment and he's going full time. So uh, anyway, you know what, I'm not going to show y'all. Nah, I'm not gonna show you. If I get this to him, uh, he will do. He, he, he will do. Okay. And like I said, I don't like to mention anybody when I give something, but um, this is a special gift. Okay, because um, I really want him to have this. I know it's gonna be very useful. Uh, he's gonna enjoy it. Uh, whoa. Okay, that's awesome. It's really awesome. Anyway, uh, it's there. It was free to me because I got the Amazon shopper. <laughs> using my coupons and I also use my um, my uh, Amazon shopper panel for this one too so actually I got them both free <laughs> uh, okay and um, so guys I'm gonna let you uh, with that thought right and um, for those out there that are be trolling on the channels come on come on um, I know who you are I know who you are um, they always have something bad to say. I don't even think they're listening. I think they just scroll, okay? I don't know if they, uh, if they're those people that get paid for, for, com for tr 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 trolling your aunt, you know, trolling your, your, your channels and other channels and uh, maybe um, Instagram or, or what the hell out there is, um, uh, what else the hell is out there, Facebook, um, uh, what the heck out is out there? I don't know. There's so many medias out there. I, I, I have no idea. So anyway, um, I think they get paid for that because there is an app that you can uh, join and you get paid for for uh, either reading books or um, watching uh, um, uh, movies or watching uh, you know YouTubers and just putting up some 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 stupid. Uh, just to, just to make it feel bad or like, damn, well, 
you know, they disappear and they appear. Let me tell you, okay? They'll show up and then they disappear. But when they show up once in a blue moon, they will, you know, you just want to wring their neck to the, to, to, to the, to the, okay? You just want, you just want to, you just want to comment, okay? Some really heavy duty stuff, but, um. I just, I, you know, I, I learned to ignore a long time ago. I learned to ignore people like that because um, I, uh, I don't believe in, you know, that's like the devil's work. I don't know. You know, they, they, they come out. I think they get up in the wrong freaking foot and they get on, on our channels and um, they just want to F up your day or F up your energy to, to give up or just, just uh, you know. Uh, no, no, you can, you, you know, keep writing, keep writing your crap up in there, I'll just ignore it, okay, I mean, you won't even get a comment from it, you won't even get a heart or hug or nothing, but you know what, I'll give you a heart and a hug, but I won't comment, I like to see people move, so this person must be a Sasquatch, okay, they were born walking and, um, climbing trees and shit like that, uh, they weren't born twisting and turning, figuring out how to twist from the right to the left and how to crawl and how to move and fall and, 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 and get up and, and then start walking and then, you know, you fall again. You know what? Us grown-ups, we have our downfalls. Now tell me if I'm right or wrong. And we also have our up days because everything can be up, okay? We do have our, 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 in our lifetime, we have episodes in our life that um, we come into a downfall. Okay, I've had lots of downfalls. Can't nobody tell me about no damn downfalls. Listen, I had electrical fires in my apartment. I, I could show you pictures. Um, I left, I had a, uh, a, uh, a pickup, a Nissan um, Frontier. I loved it. And I had just purchased it, okay, uh, in 2018, no, 2017, yeah, you know, I'm going to load up some photos of my disasters in life. I have pictures of plugs, wall plugs, okay, all uh, burnt up, crunched up, looking all grayish and blackish, okay, um, yeah, so, um, I have, I have, a, I have, I've been through a lot. I've lost apartments. I guess they were like for me. So I'm very skeptical that I have my fire alarms going. I'm skeptic of having my carbon monoxides in my home. Um, I'm, I'm skeptic of having, you know, a good um, uh, video system, camera system. Um, because I have, I, I've had, not because my um, negligence or anything like that. It was um, places that they looked nice. I had a rented house, small rented house. It was so cute. I had a gazebo in the back. Oh, I would be chilling. I'd be cooking. Oh, man, I loved it. But you know what? Um, it was an electrical problem because he extended the bathroom, made it bigger before I rented it. And um, it rained, and it was seeping somewhere, and I didn't know. It was seeping through somewhere and one day that stuff was chirping and I called the fire department and man I lost all my furniture I lost everything I'm talking about everything everything the only thing I, ha I can get was my pocketbook and my medication okay um, that's all I, I I could get out and um, I had an apartment I lost that I, I rented and after I moved and furnished it all over again uh, before that, I lived in a hotel for three months. Okay, that, that was that was that was really something. Uh, and it wasn't a five-star hotel either. Okay, so I went through a lot. And it had, and uh, the apartment I found after that, um, it was around my budget. It was you know emergency apartment, but it was okay. It was okay. Um, after I moved in and furnished and bought stuff that I you know needed because I had lost everything. Um, it had bed bugs. Bed bugs. Guys, bed bugs tore my shit up. And tore my, my um, me and my kids up too. So I had to get the hell out of there. So that was another loss. My Nissan Frontier, um, 
I took it, uh, my own family in Florida. I don't visit them, okay? That's why I say my, my family is effed up. Uh, jealousy, okay? I don't know, you know, I don't know. I, I got a weird family. So, um, uh, I went out there. They knew I had, I had some money. I was looking for a trailer to buy. That's what I went out there to look for a trailer. Uh, you know, nothing expensive, just something that, you know, I can go on vacation and maybe one day, you know, I mean, go on vacation, go out there for a month or two, you know, come back home and stuff like that, you know. And um, it didn't happen because they stole my money. Uh, one of one of my other family members asked me to uh, go out to Applebee's with them. Applebee's. They never asked me to go a damn where. But anyway, I said, no, 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 no. So they came back with this uh, zucchini soup, and I tasted it. Taste that. Wow. Where did I get that from? Well, next time we tell you, let's go, we go. You know, because we all from Brooklyn, too. So, you know, I, I should have known better. They were from Brooklyn. <laughs> should have known better. But, um, and I went to my aunt's house. So, guess what happened? Next time came around, and I was still there, because I was still looking for my trailer. And um, my aunt wanted to buy some land that's cheap. And I had ran into some money. And um, I said, listen, once I get my trailer, I help you with your land, okay? What do you want to land for? She was 70, so she's 75 now. Yeah, she's 75 now, but she's too strong 75, you know? Mommy don't give up and shit. So um, she got mad. I found out later she was mad at me. And um, I was asked again to go to Applebee's, so I went to Applebee's. And uh, I told my aunt, I'm gonna leave my, my, my pocketbook on top of the fridge. And I wasn't thinking bad about them. Damn. They took my pocketbook. One of my nephews, um, he's a transgender. Like I said, I don't have preferences or you know, with people. I have a family of everything and anything, okay? LGBTQ, um, uh, 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 transgender, okay? The street, um, uh, uh, so weed, weeders, okay? That's my weed. Um, other ones out there in, uh, I don't know what state uh, the heck they, they, you know, they, 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 they do all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hide the sky okay i can't hide the sky so i'll tell you the truth right i don't make myself better than nobody because i'm not better than nobody i am not better than nobody okay so now you know when i say i'm international i am completely international my family is international i have a mixed family of everything everything and anything and then and, and, you know they, they they do what they they do it they all right you know in their own world but you know whatever it is what it is so whatever flows to pool okay <laughs> I love every single one of them, but even though, even though, okay, um, we're not close, we're nowhere close by, I, I don't even know where the, where the heck to find them right now, anyway. but they know where to find me, but I don't know um, where the heck they at, and I really can't depend on them anyway, and I can't even count on them for shit, so it, what, what, what good does it do to me? I hope everybody's doing fine anyway, so far. Media tra travels fast, news travels fast, so everybody's okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, I uh, went to Applebee's the second time they asked me. Left my pocketbook on top of the fridge. My ATM card is in there. Okay. Not loaded, but it was low. It had a load. And... Um, the next day, my I came home. I came back. Uh, next day, my aunt was 
bitching and carrying on, and everybody was in a effed up mood. What the heck's going on over here? You know, so I said, you know what? Let me get the heck out of here. Let me get the heck out of here. So um, I told my, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna get some sleep, and tomorrow morning I I'm headed out. You know what? She was so mad at me because I didn't want to give her the money for the land because I had not found my trailer, and I I had to sleep in my in my in my pickup truck. Yes, I did. I got pictures of all that stuff. I had to sleep in my darn pickup truck for five days because I was still trying to find my trailer. I didn't want to come back to New Jersey without my trailer. I ain't got a damn thing. I don't. I, didn't, I came back with. Um, I came back with practically nothing. They took within that week. They took my my ATM and they shopped for Mary Kay. They shopped for eBay. I don't use Mary Kay. I don't even know where to start with eBay or whatever bays out there. Only thing I know is Amazon. And there was no Amazon. So I when I left, okay, when I left, um, I have filled up her freezer. Because every time I travel to someone's house, I fill up their fridge. That's what I do. Even if I eat out or whatever, or go to McDonald's, or, or I don't really go eat McDonald's, but I, I like their coffee. Um, and uh, or anywhere, a slice of pizza, whatever, wherever the heck I'm at, and I get hungry, I just, just order some. So I normally I will fill up your freezer, okay? You, you do, you know, I don't care, and, and I'll give you some money too, you know. You take it or you don't take it, I don't care. I'll put it right there. I'm just trying to cooperate and help. Maybe you might have a necessity. Maybe you need it for something. I don't care. So my goal was to get by my trailer, but that didn't happen. Um, what they did was they loosened up my antifreeze cap on the bottom, on the bottom of my, my Nissan Frontier pickup. So when I decided to leave, um, they were in a hurry to put my stuff into the back of the, I had a quad, and the back was comfy to sleep. Let me tell you, I slept five days. They didn't hurt me. They hurted me, but man, I was like, whoa. But I had my phone, okay, and I watched my movies, and my cousin's wife, she would call me in the morning, Ada, um, I just got up, uh, it was like maybe 5, 30, 6 in the morning, I just got up, um, I'm going to unlock the door with some sliding doors in the parking lot was right there. So that's how I go in and use the bathroom and take a shower, and um, and mom would get up like nothing was going on. And I was just act the same, but I was like skeptic, you know, then I was like, wow, how can this be happening, you know? The only family that I, I you know, look look forward when I travel, and um, they, you know, she acting like this and stuff. So, um, I left, and by the time I got from Ocala, I don't want to know a damn thing about Ocala, you hear me? Because they went, they, eventually they came back to New York, and eventually they moved back to Ocala. So I don't want to know a damn thing about Ocala, Florida. And um, and uh, and I feel bad because she raised me. She's my godmother. But that's about you know they they did a number on me and that's it. Guys, by the time I drove forty five minutes, my pickup truck started heating up. Smoke was coming through my hood. I was like, oh crap! So I just checked all the liquids, you know. I did everything. I pumped gas. I, I checked all my liquids. And um, by the time I got off an exit on 95 into a Shell gas station, I knew I had a major problem. So I parked where I wouldn't bother anybody, you know, and I would be safe. So at a Shell gas station. I'll never forget that. And um, I don't know nothing about no damn Jacksonville. And, and damn if I was going to call them. Well, you know what? When I went to my son's years ago, his uh, Fort Benning uh, basic training graduation. I I had a mechanic over there that reviewed my 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 other vehicle back back then. And he did an awesome job. And uh, I said, let me call. I said, I think I have his car. And now I'm gonna Google him up. He's right by the Fort Benning base. I didn't know how far from Jacksonville to Fort Benning it was. I had no idea. I just knew that he was a good mechanic. So I called him, and he said he'll he would pick it up that evening. Yes, he did show up. He just sent me a tow truck, and I do have AAA. So I called AAA, and um, uh, they towed. They, 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 they towed me up to a certain point, okay, uh, 500 miles, something like that. So after that, 
uh, he sent me the tow truck. And that tow truck cost me $1,500. No, it was $1,200. So I paid it $1,200. Then the mechanic told me the engine was gone. I was like, what? So I said, oh my God. So he said, I can get it all done with $1,500 because I already know you from last time. And gosh, every time you come down here, you have a problem. <laughs> I'm like, no, I wind up in the wrong places. I have problems. Family. So uh, he was laughing. So he did my engine and whatever. And I, came, I flew back to New Jersey, okay? And uh, let me tell you something. When I went to my, my youngest son um, graduation, let me tell you, um, my, my, my Jeep... I had a Jeep Liberty, beautiful. It broke down. And I had my, my other dog with me, which was his puppy. And I only had one day to enjoy with my son before he got deployed. He was getting deployed that same week. And, um, and he was being transferred to Colorado. So um, God bless him because he came back, you know, after some years. But um, I mean, he's all messed up, you know, we getting around right now, whatever. But he all right, he all right. And his girlfriend, she's, 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 she's a dog. So, I'm very responsible. I'm so glad I found somebody who's responsible. And up to, up to, you know, up to good. And beautiful, she has a beautiful family. They're very close. So, I'm glad that he met somebody who has a family that are close. Because I didn't grow up with a close family. My family is very distant. So, I'm very happy for him. Okay. I mean, there are some ups and downs. I'll get pissed off sometimes with, with you know, things I, but, yeah. You know, that's not my problem. That's not my, my, my life, okay. Everybody straighten out what they could do. So anyway, guys, he put the engine in my Nissan Frontier, and he kept the, he was driving it all over the place, okay? He drove it for like a week. I flew back. And uh, he told me, uh, I told him, listen, let me know ahead of time so I can buy my ticket, because if you buy your ticket overnight, it's going to cost you more money. If you buy it in a couple of days before, then it's less money. So, um... He's like, okay, oh, well, you, you will pick it up by, you know, go ahead, get your ticket. You can come and get it. It's ready. I've had it for a week. I've drove it all over. No problems. I said, okay, I'll be there. So I bought my ticket for like three days later. Well, during those three days, I got a phone call from, from a cop, a policeman. Is this Ada? Yes. Uh, this is a, a sheriff from, from uh, uh, Fort Benning. Um... <laughs> Fort Benning, no, but Georgia, Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia. I'm like, sheriff, oh, what the, what the, I didn't do a damn thing, you know. I was saying to myself, what the fuck did I do? And he's like, um, I have your vehicle here, um, such and such and such vehicle. Yeah, that's my vehicle. Okay, we have a such and such and such guy driving your vehicle. Uh, what, what is the vehicle doing in his possession? I'm like, he's my mechanic. When I travel south and something happens or I need a checkup or a tune-up or an old change or to, to travel back home because I live in New Jersey, um, he is my mechanic. So he's like, okay, so that's all I understand. I said, well, what's going on? Why, why are you calling me? You know, well, what's, what's going on? He's like, oh, well, your vehicle was involved in an accident. Oh, uh -huh. oh man, the world just dropped. I was like, an accident? Did he get hurt? You know, the first thing is my concern, not, not the car, the, the guy. To my mechanic. I said, did he get hurt? Is he okay? It, 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 you know, everything is okay? But how bad is it? He said, oh, it's, it, 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 well, he's, he's fine. You know, he was sent to the hospital uh, with some injury, injuries. What kind of injuries? Well, ma'am, you have to, um, you know, uh, get in contact with him and whatever, whatnot, whatnot. Well, you know, he had back problems. Back problems. He winded up with back problems. I mean, it was a hard hit. This SUV hit him from behind on the third lane threw him through the second lane, through the first lane, and down a ditch. Not a, not a steep ditch, but a ditch. Okay, I ditch. And totaled, I'm gonna load up the pictures one day. Um, actually, I'm gonna make it, you know, my losses. <laughs> I'm gonna title it my losses in life, okay? Yeah. And I wanted to cry when I saw, uh, when he sent me the picture, he got out the hospital, they gave him some pain pills, and he was coming around. And um, I traveled after to see him, you know, once he got out the hospital, I said, oh, you know what, I canceled my ticket. Um, when you get home to your home, I will travel. Um, I already, you know, the insurance was notified, and they got all the information and whatever, and um, it wasn't his fault. 
but um, uh, everything, let me tell you, it was so bad. I'll let you figure it out. It was so bad that windows were got busted, glass, there was no windows on, the, on, the, on my um, uh, quad. Uh, from GPS to garments to everything in the glove compartments to papers to uh, I, I had two suitcases in the back and it had the, the cover on the back of the pickup that was in the road everything flew on the road okay and whatever people can take and whatever like my garment and this and that they walked out with it um, sanitation had to come and swipe and clean the roads it was that bad okay? I have pictures I will, I will load them up on that you know, so, you know what? I know how to take losses. I've had lots of losses. So, I'm not the person that, um, uh, you know, act like I, I, I'm the top. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm that good. You know, I mean, you know, uppity. No, no, I'm not uppity. I never was uppity. I just get what I need if I have the um, the funds which I have ran into at that time I um, I bought my you know because winter winter I didn't have to shovel in a low car and stuff like that so um, I bought that for that reason and also because I told my my motorcycle when I bought it out here I towed it out there and guess what? I had towed my motorcycle out there, and I left it at the after I rode the hell out of it. Okay, and they go in the beach and all over the place. Um, before I came, I dropped it off at Power Sports. If anybody knows about um, those uh, bike shops out there, I dropped it off there and to do some updates on it. Ooh, I had it looking good. And then I got it towed over here through a company. Okay, uh, one of those shipping companies. Yeah. I was good looking too. Oof. Um, and he towed the, the, my bike out here. It would cost me $750. He actually, he's from New York. Um, in one of those, you know, uh, containers that um, he had, he owned. Like a small kind of, not, maybe like a 12 foot or something like that. Yeah, that's what he did for a living. And, um, ooh, the brother was fine. I mean, yeah, I looked at my motorcycle, ooh -hoo. but he was like, ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo. <laughs> uh, Ladies, you ever get, got single ladies out there ever get that? <laughs> oh my goodness, this brother was yum yum, you hear me? I said, Ada, the back of your sense, man. So, um, yeah, he put the bike down for me, I turned it on, and he stood there with me for a while, we were just talking about New York, because he was from New York and whatnot, and, um, and then I gave him a tip, okay, gave him a tip, and uh, I got on my bike and rode around the block with it, I, was, I felt so good, but anyway, those were some, you know, some of my stories, but um, I can't think about your losses you just gotta keep on moving so the whole point is you know you, you no matter what happens in your life uh, don't have any um, regrets in the past because we can't bring that back okay so we have to keep moving okay ahead if it I just always say if something happens because it wasn't for you I couldn't get my trailer I um, I uh, did other things with the money, okay? Uh, with what I had left, because they stole most of my money. Gosh, I didn't know until I got back here. And I went into my, um, into my account. Oh my gosh, guys. Incredible, I'm, I still don't believe it. I, I still can't believe they did that to me. I went to the bank. But they would not replace my money and I'm talking about close to 40 it was 41,000 something yeah that's what it was when I retired I got some um, back pay and that's what I had left okay that's what I had left I mean it was it was more but that's what I that's what they took 
That's what they took. They left me like with, uh, they left me like with close to four thousand dollars in the bank. So, um, guys, be careful what you do with your cards, okay? Where you leave them at. So I went to the bank, but they could not replace my money due to the fact that um, they were my family members. My aunt was involved, okay? Because I left it in her possession. Um, I saw the pictures, uh, the video that the bank showed me. Oh my goodness, okay. It wasn't her, she did not go to the bank, okay? But they took my card from my wallet that I had left in her possession. So maybe she didn't know that they had did it, okay? I never questioned, I just pushed myself away from them. That's what I did. I said, okay, you did that to me, I'm gonna push myself away from you. Okay, from all of y'all. And um, yeah, I, I, it hit me, it hit me hard, you know? It hit me hard because um, I said one day I'm gonna, that's what I wanna have, okay? So I can travel, I don't have to stay in nobody's house, I have my own place. I didn't want nothing expensive. Um, I did see a few for like seven thousand, um, six thousand, ready to live in. Yeah, that's cheap. Down in um in Savannah, Georgia. I love Savannah, Georgia. Oh goodness, how come it's Savannah, Georgia? And um, and some parts of Florida. Not not nothing after Orlando because some hurricanes uh, will tear your shit up down there. Okay, there's too many lakes and rivers. From down, from Orlando down, if you look at the map, there's just Tampa. Tampa, you will drown, okay? And Tampa, it will rain and you will drown because there's too many rivers and lakes and the ocean and this and that. So I, um, I, I like Orlando and up, okay? Center, center. That's why when I go, I go to central Orlando, Apoca, Ocoee, um, those areas. Those are my areas. And then I explore around. But, um, yeah, that really hit me. And I couldn't do nothing because if I did, I would have them all locked up. I know some of y'all would say, well, ah, they did that, we're going to have them locked up. But I, I, I could not do that. And especially my eye, too. So it hit me. It put me in bed for like a week, okay? Um, I couldn't even bear myself to eat for a week just thinking about it. I was just mad, but not mad with everybody. Just just mad at the situation every time. Oh, it hit me so hard that um, I wanted to go down there and rip their darn head off. So um, I left it at that. I did send them a message. You know what? Thanks for what the heck you did to me. You know what? But you know what? You will never succeed because I have a blessing that when somebody does bad to me, I don't have to... I don't have to wish you any wrong. Wrong is going to come to you because you don't do those things to good-hearted people. Okay? You know, that, yeah, I sent them a message. And you know what? They ended up losing their, their um, nice apartment. Actually, it was like this whole thing right here, but, you know, and then bigger. And they were paying only seven fifty. They winded up losing all that. They winded up coming back to, to New York, out in Rockaway somewhere where... And eventually, after they went through hell for like seven months, and then after that, they winded up, not all of them, but um, most of them, they winded up going back to Ocala, Florida. And they're there now. And I was out there twice. I visited them. Max. No. 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 I forgive them. Okay? I forgive them from my heart. But... It was a lot of money. So, everyone has their ups and their downs. So you don't know what goes on in people's heads sometimes, okay? I mean, all I have is taking it a day at a time, okay? Doing what I can a day at a time. Dealing with my pain, so my neck injuries and my back injuries on my motorcycle. My arthritis is kicking in because it's getting cold. It is cold out here. Um, later on, it'll be like in the 70s something, but um, that doesn't kick it for me either. I'm always cold, okay? I'm always cold. Um, once this weather starts hitting like this, yeah, I get I get cold and stuff starts hurting, and sometimes I suffer because I refuse to take 
you know, um, I take Tylenol or Advil, but sometimes um, if I take it more than twice a day, uh, it irritates my stomach. So I I learned about turmeric with the Indian people out here in uh, Queens. Yeah, and they're a blessing for that. I the, the turmeric, it, I get it on Amazon. I I, um, I went to one of those Indian shops. Uh, and um, they showed me the, the bottle and it comes with uh, fennel seeds and uh, mustard seeds and all kinds of stuff uh, kajin pepper, black pepper, uh, powdered pepper, red peppers I don't know, a whole bunch of peppers up in there I know that thing is an anti-inflammatory because I started easing off my pains after a month of using it I cook and I sprinkle pretty much because it tastes so good pretty much into my food, my stew, my stew. And then I mix it, I let it cook for a few more minutes, and then I shut it off and I eat regular. And um, the golden milk, the plain turmeric uh, with warm milk in a cup, okay? A little bit warmer than warm, okay? And you put a tablespoon of turmeric in there and you mix it, and we call it the golden milk. And then you put a little bit of black pepper because that's what activates the, the turmeric, which makes it into the curcumin. <laughs> you learned some stuff from me. So that's good for inflammation and that's very good for pain, let me tell you. Good for pain, but you got to take a cup like every night or every other night, okay? And even in the morning, okay? It's an anti-inflammatory. You could feel like the... You're, you won't be cold. The, your coldness will go away because it kind of warms up your your joints or something okay it works on the joints actually you know these people you have to learn you have to mingle with them and learn their remedies because they got some good remedies yeah well you know what that's a memory for life that was four years ago and i still buy it and um and i do it and that helps me more than a darn tylenol or a damn advil unless i quit taking the milk and then i gotta pop into my tylenols and advil because um that's all I would take, okay? Um, I did get hydroxychloroquine uh, for my arthritis some years ago. And when I had the COVID, the pain was unbearable. I don't even know what they are talking about. Y'all know that's true. But the, my last resource was, wait a minute, they gave me something for the arthritis that's supposed to knock out the pain? Well, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And I got up stumbling and be can barely move and, and, and I was in La La Land. And I went into the, the, the big the, the bin I have with all that stuff that I don't take that they give me. You know, you know, I can't take everything they give you. And um, I, I looked for it. I had bottles in there. I took one. I, I didn't even read I just took one, got back into the covers. <sighs> okay. Later on, I woke up. It was like four, five, six hours, eight hours later. I don't know. I went over there and, and you know, it helped. It relieved the pain. And I went and took another one. And, and I fell asleep and I had the nebulizer, I had everything going. I looked like a, like I had a whole hospital in, the, in my bedroom. With all this stuff that I had going on, trying to help myself. All alone, all alone. And the day after that, I woke up like ain't shit happening. The heck was all that? And I'm looking, nebulizer. Holy crap. That was really something. I don't wish that on nobody. Some people get it light. Some people will knock your A down just like it did to me. I tell you, um, I smoke cigarettes. Um, a pack will last me two days. And let me tell you something, and sometimes three. Let me tell you something. I was like that for 20 days. Couldn't breathe and stuff. Oh yeah, I was really bad. I didn't realize it until later. I didn't know there was no no nothing flying around anyway. Um, I thought it was my arthritis and my asthma at the same time, okay? Because it was winter. Well, let me tell you, man. Uh, it was a blessing that no one came to my house to check up on me or call me or nothing. But uh, it did work. <laughs> I don't really know the theory behind it, but it worked for me, okay? And one day, I don't know, it's 20 days. I'm like, what day it is? 
Well, the movers took the stuff out on the 1st or 31st, something like that, or whatever month, two years ago. No, last year, last year, one year. Yeah, I've been here for a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, what? It was the end of the month already. 20 days. 20 days. I didn't, I didn't smoke for 20 days. I didn't go to work for 20 days. What the heck hit me? You know what? I don't wish it on nobody. I know what I suffered. I know what I went through. I know how I crawled into to the bathroom. Uh, I'll tell you. It was bad. It was bad. So listen. Be safe out there, okay? Because some people will get it light. Some people might not get it now. You get it later. Uh, some people, uh, you, you know, you never know. You never know. So stay safe, okay? Um, don't be naive. Don't be uh, taking stuff for granted. Don't be uh, showing your ass off. Uh, if you have loved ones, if you have kids, you got grandkids, you got family, you got your mom, you got your dad, you got whatever. Listen, um, you have to think, okay? Uh, because you're hurting others. You're not hurting yourself only. You're hurting others, okay? So that's what I say. Just stay safe. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying take this or take that. Stay safe because don't don't be selfish and think about yourself. Having fun, going out there. There'll be time for that. Um, just be safe. You can still go out and have a time, but be safe. Be careful where you go to, too. And um, be safe. Don't take life for granted because you only have one life to live. I have, I have, I'm like a cat. I have nine, okay? But there's some shit that um, I still say, like, wow, thank you, Jesus. You know? Thank you, Jesus, because of my good heart, okay? So, guys, I'm going to let you go. Hope you learned something from this video. And don't forget to download that shopper, um, Amazon Shopper Panel, okay? And blessings to all of you. And, um... Keep track of uh, others out there, okay? Because we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. Okay, some worse than others. So let's just take it, like I always say, one day at a time, guys. One day at a time. So, as always, appreciate all of you. I love all of you, okay? I hope one day that I'm going to be on the road, okay? And I'm going to meet a few of y'all. I would love that. I would love that. So, let's see. Winter's coming. Um, I hope I can get out there and um, catch up with a couple of the van lifers out there. Okay, just for lunch or something or whatever. Come back uh, or camp or, or do something. I, you know, do something together. And um, and that way, you know, we show others uh, how it's done. Okay, how it's done. I go to a campground. I'll be going through everybody's place. How you doing? I'll be running my mouth like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I get to know things. I get to know the area. I get to know the owners. I get to know the people that are stationary living there. And, and you know, eventually, one place that I go in South Jersey, Baldwin, um, they already know me when I go. Yeah, they already know me. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the same spot? Yeah, all the way in the same spot. <laughs> and yeah, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice. I don't have the family to share, but I do have a lot of friends, good people, okay? Most of my friends are older people anyway. I don't have no young friends. Most people that are my friends are older. They are older. You get, I get good advice from them. I learn from their experiences, okay? Um, that's good. It's helped me. It's helped me a lot. So anyway, guys, hope you um, get the message and see my point. You agree or you disagree, it's okay. Um, if you agree, fine. If you don't agree, fine too. Okay, I'm just uh, sharing my, some of my experiences with John. All right, so I'll catch you on my next video, guys. And everybody stay safe. Don't forget. And uh, don't forget to uh, find uh, uh, East Coast, okay? Anthony, East Coast right okay so hugs to all hearts to all all right and sometimes i don't get back the next day but i'll get back the next day or sometime because sometimes i'd be up late watching the videos and stuff like that and i'd be just drained and tired like i was yesterday i was like 
go inside and stuff. I was like, what's wrong with me? I was so sleepy. I said, oh my goodness. I woke up like three times and I, I had no sleep. Like for two days I barely slept. So yesterday I slept. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll catch you on my next video. Okay? Yeah, have a good day. Good night and good evening.